Hey guys, Kataruki here with another super simple DIY project uh, slash recycling project, I guess. I will today be showing you how to repurpose some cans into some cute office storage. I like to keep things separated, especially things like this that are pokey and like to impale you randomly. So I just keep those in my like desk drawer and you only need three items for this DIY, which is some type of can. I, for this um, type of thing, I'm gonna be using a tuna can, which I have washed thoroughly, <laughs> a pair of scissors and some washi tape. And I don't remember about this one. It's actually the top one that's on there. I got all four of those together uh, a few months ago. I can't remember where from, but this one definitely was in a two pack at Hobby Lobby for $3.99. And I do believe they go 50% off. I was not that lucky and I really needed it for something else. So I had to use a 40% off coupon. But anyway, all you're gonna do is Pretty much find like the worst looking side that's where you're gonna start so in this case I've got this side here that has some glue that just would not come off and I'm just gonna start with the plain kind of turquoise aqua color and just start peeling it I'm lining it up like around just under the natural lip of the can and for these, I mean the cans, some of them do have printing on the can itself, so I would suggest getting tape to use on these that has, you know, maybe like this. It's a pretty bold design, pretty opaque, so you don't see that showing through. So I just wrapped it around and I'm gonna overlap it just a smidge and trim it off and drop it on the floor, it's cool, cool. And just kind of smooth that end down. And then right below that, I'm just gonna pick up the other tape and start in the same spot, just kind of barely overlapping, you know, as little as possible, that second or that first color. And I really lucked out, like I said, I bought the other tape like months ago and this actually matches really well. <laughs> It's, it's all my favorite colors. It matches my birch box too, which is right over there, which if you have subscribed or checked out my other videos, you will already have seen. So that is pretty much it. Just gonna do the same thing, just overlap it a tiny bit. And that way, you know, all of your seams, if it does end up being a little wonky, Gosh, dropping that one too. That's cool. Uh, that way they're all on one side. You can like face that away from yourself so you have like the nice smooth side. And if you had like a really thin one, you could go around the bottom. I think this other one was actually a little bit wider tape so it reached farther down. But I don't really mind seeing the silver down there because you have it up there. And that is it. <laughs> so give me a thumb, thumb can up. Huh. Give me a can up if uh, you enjoyed this. And, you know, tag me on Instagram or something. Show me, show me what you make with washi tape and recycled things. I'm always trying to recycle things. I mean, we have a recycling bin, obviously, but like glass jars and stuff. I mean, there's so many things you can do for like storage. And I even have uh, one with like adhesive scrapbook paper, um, holding some random stuff on my makeup desk. And I have other ones in my office that hold pens and things like that. So I use the birch box boxes, I use cans, I've got a bunch of glass jars that I'm going to try to figure out something to do with. So uh, let me know what crafty things you guys are making with these items or if you have any suggestions of things you would like me to try out and I could oops, maybe make a video or something. <laughs> um, so give me a thumbs up. And you can subscribe if you enjoyed this. And follow me on Instagram, at Kataruki. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye!